Okay, cool. I hope you can see my presentation. Um, yes, I hope we can. Every, okay, cool. Thank you. So thank you very much for the invitation. Thank you very much for giving me the, the, the chance to talk um, during this session here and introducing the, the master's program in international business management. Um, so welcome to Hochschule Fresenius. My name is Frederick Miebach. Just quickly giving you a brief introduction about myself. I'm the head of the international admissions office here at Hochschule Fresenius located in Cologne. Um, I studied here at Hochschule Fresenius, so I did my bachelor's and also my master's degree in international business management with a double degree in, in international business management, studying first year at Hochschule Fresenius and the second year at the University of Chester. Um, I also worked for, for Bayer in the past in, in, the, in the international HR department. I worked for RTL, for PwC, so different stations before I, I came back to Hochschule Fresenius um, to become the head of the, the international admissions office. Um, focusing on the International Admissions Office it's, itself, so it's located in the heart of Cologne, so Media Park here in Cologne, and uh, we as the department are responsible for different campuses here in Germany, so we're responsible for Cologne, Düsseldorf, Hamburg, Munich, Berlin, and um, new campuses are already planned or in planning. Um, so the, these will be added to our portfolio as well. And we are responsible for supporting with the entire application process for international students. So from EU and non-EU countries, and also from Germany, uh, willing to study English speaking pro uh, study programs here at Hochschule Fresenius. So we support with any student services, we support with uh, the visa process, with housing, whatever you need in the process of coming to Germany and your willingness to study. Just a, a quick introduction or a general overview about Hochschule Fresenius. So we're offering over 173 years of education tradition. So um, Hochschule Fresenius was founded in 1848. We now offer approximately 120 bachelor's and master's programs. A few bachelor's and master's programs will be added next year. So um, they're part of the, the accreditation process right now. So a few more English speaking programs that we will offer in the future. We have five departments in total. So the design AMD school here in Germany, we have business and media where international business management is, for example, located. We have biology and chemistry. We have health and, and social, and we have online plus. So also an online platform where you can study online. Currently we have over 17,000 uh, students here at uh, Hochschule Fresenius and over 22,000 graduates. So looking at the winter semester 2022, so our recent intake, um, that was quite successful because we had an incoming rate of at least 10%. So uh, students from EU and non-EU countries coming to Germany and willing to study here at Hochschule Fresenius. And uh, another key fact is that we have over 500 cooperation partners. We had our career days just recently, so last week, where these companies came to the university and held presentations, introduced themselves to the students um, for internships, for, for student work at jobs, and um, many other things basically to, to get introduced to, to the student field. Um, focusing on the study program itself, so focusing on international business management, um, as you can see in brackets, it's Masters of Arts, but also a potential Masters of Science. So you have the option to study the first year at Hochschule Fresenius and the second year completely in Chester in the UK. It's a full-time master's program, which is four semesters in total, so two years in total, and it's offered in, uh, at the campuses in Berlin, in Cologne, and in Munich. Um, focusing on Munich, you have to say that it's not offer, offered in, in the summer semester. So in Munich, it's only the winter semester where we offer the study program. In Berlin and Cologne, it's the summer semester and the winter semester. The intakes that we have are always March and September, so the 1st of March and the 1st of September. You will gain 120 ECTS credit points in, in, at the end of the study program. And um, just mentioning briefly, once again, the, the double degree option that you have with a Master's of Science in Chester. For this, you would only have to write one dissertation or one master's thesis. So not two, not one for the first year and one for the second one. It's just one dissertation at the end, which you write in Chester, which you also write in collaboration with a company or can write it in, in collaboration with a company. Um, but this is not a must. Um, the price structure is here 880 euros monthly on a monthly basis and 950 euros um, monthly for non-EU students. Just quickly summarizing that. 
showing you the study plan of the International Business Management Master's program. So you have the first, second, third, and fourth semester, basically. So the first two uh, semesters, this is showing you the structure of the International Business Management course with or including the Chester option, but you also have the, the point list be listed below, which includes the non-Chester option. So in the first semester, international economics and international management, financial management, leadership and strategy, um, second semester, a bit more the, the focus on marketing and sales, strategic management, international relations. And then once coming to the, the third semester, you can choose a, another major that you want to have as part of your master's. So you can choose either international business, international finance, marketing management, or global management. Global management is the, the Hochschule Fresenius option. The other three options are the, the majors that you can choose or, or pick in Chester, basically. And then in the last semester, you have your colloquium and you have your master's thesis. So basically, if you look at Chester, you have parts of the, the master's thesis, which is the, the research pr proposal or master's thesis proposal. So you write the proposal, hand that in, this is, this is part of the grade of the master's thesis. And if you decide when you're coming from an, uh, an EU or non-EU country, if you decide to come to Germany and are, are not willing to, to go to Chester, so you just want to stay in Germany, then we have the option of an internship, including the, the major in, in global management. So this is the focus in, in the third semester then. So global management plus internship, and then the master's thesis in the, in the fourth semester of your studies. Focusing a bit more on the requirements for your university studies at Hochschule Fresenius. So the basic requirements are basically the, the, as also mentioned in the CBS presentation, I think it's always the same to have at least 180 credit point bachelor's program. Um, for us, we have at least, or it's necessary to have at least 60 ECTS points in the preceding bachelor's program um, in the field of management or in the field of business. So this is one of the requirements. The second requirement is that we um, put a high focus on the English language skills as well. So we look at a level, level of minimum B2 um, and the minimum grade in the bachelor's looking at the German system is a 2.5. And the documents that you would need for admission are the bachelor's certificate, transcript of records, CV, English language certificate, the secondary school certificate, the German health insurance, and also a digital photo for the student ID. And the first step for checking your documents, so this is part of, of our department or my department, um, we only need the CV and the transcript of records to check your eligibility or to check your admission. And then focusing a bit more on the job perspective, so focusing on uh, the example of international business management, what will happen in the end? So once you finish your studies, what can you do? Um, that's, that's a question that many students ask. And that's where we, we, we see that this slide especially helps you to, to find out where to go or find the way to in, in, the, in the working field. So focusing on a, on a management perspective, you, know, you can go into self-employment or factory and production management, the example of human resource management, which I did for buyer, for example, um, working as a recruiter or working as a manager in the human resource field, working in change management. This is everything that you can do in, in the human resources and, and recruiting field. Uh, marketing and sales, international sales manager. This is my current position. Um, you can work as a marketing manager, online marketing, social media campaigns, event manager. So different fields, controlling and production. You have a controller, accountant, lean production manager. And nowadays, this is also an option to, to do this all remote. So you have the option to do that um, in presence or remote. And these are basically the job perspectives that we see from a standpoint of the International Business Management Program. The application process, just simply um, mentioning that or briefly mentioning that, you can apply online via www.hs-fosenius.com slash application, upload as mentioned the bachelor's degree and your transcript of records and your, your CV basically to check the admission, then we will check your documents and get back to you as quickly as possible. And for non-EU students, um, we have the requirement of a preliminary agreement and then in the last step, you will receive your study contract and we will support you in the entire visa process if you're coming from a non-EU country. 
Life on campus, just briefly sharing with you how um, or which activities we have on campus. So we have university days, um, we have summer festivals, we have winter festivals, we have the matriculation ceremony, which is a few days. Um, so a first week rally as well through the city of Cologne, Hamburg, Munich, Dusseldorf, Berlin. So many activities planned by the university itself. Um, that's the first week. We have a Fraser Cup, so a football cup for any one of you who's interested in, in sports or football. We have a, a football cup where different teams from or, or students form teams from different campuses and compete to win the Fraser Cup um, each semester. And then the highlight is the graduation ceremony, finishing your studies and taking your first step into your career life or your, your, your career path, basically. Guest speakers, so just briefly mentioning that from the perspective of the career days that we recently had, so companies like Vodafone, companies like DHL, Sky, um, Rewe, Zalando for clothing, for example, Pro7, uh, television companies, um, mobile phone companies, basically, or, or telecommunication companies, Deutsche Bank, banks also joining in. Um, supermarket chains, so a variety of companies coming to the university and introducing themselves um, to, to you as a student and helping you in finding an internship, a student job, a full-time job, part-time job, whatever you're looking for in the end. Then mentioning my five reasons of, of coming to the university, of coming to Hochschule Fresenius, as I did my bachelor's and master's here at Hochschule Fresenius, um, I needed a few reasons to come back or to start in the beginning. So first of all, the practical focus that we have the cooperation with numerous well-known companies uh, for whatever reason. So for projects, for dissertations, for internships, full-time jobs, student jobs. Um, so you, you can always go to our career services department and they will help you in finding a job or an internship or a support with any project you, you might have during the master's program. Um, the study conditions, reason number two. So we have small study groups, maximum 30 students. If we have, for example, 60 students, like we have that in, in Berlin for a course, um, then we have two cohorts. So basically two groups of 30 students, and um, this will be taught on, on campus then. Then the qualified teaching staff, they come from, from companies, so they have practical experience. And um, then the last point on, on, on study conditions is the optimal framework conditions, so that this teaching method has been done for uh, many years now and that we have good experience with the um, teaching staff or lecturers that we had in the in, in recent years. Large site network, so all over Germany we're located, as mentioned in the beginning as well, um, Dusseldorf, Hamburg, Munich, Cologne, um, Berlin, so many locations here in Germany and new locations are planned for next year and the, the year to, year, years to come. Additional services, our competence center and the international office at our, our site to, to advise you uh, with anything you need, basically in the visa process, housing, whatever support you need, we will be there for you. And the, the last reason is the internationality so that we offer, offer business excursions within Europe and also uh, New York City. The last excursion was South Africa, for example, where you can uh, collaborate or, or, or cooperate basically with companies and get to know what they do in, in different fields and the high international focus and possibilities of semesters or years abroad, like Chester, Shanghai, Malaysia, New York. So different locations you can, uh, you can go to if, if wanted or if, if needed. <laughs> And yeah, that's basically my, my last slide for today. So thank you very much for, for joining this uh, session today and giving me the chance to talk about Hochschule Fresenius. Um, I'm happy to advise you. So whenever you have any questions, send me an email, give me a call. You have my telephone number listed. I'm not only re responsible for international business management, but also uh, so, so not only for the master's program, but also for the bachelor's program for tourism and event management, engineering and international management, international management, digital management, health economics, and bioanalytical chemistry. So um, whatever question you might have, please feel free to contact me anytime. And then that was it basically from my side. Thank you so much.